we're seeing conditions that we should normally see in summertime. And to help meet the growing demand, CAL FIRE is looking to hire 3,000 seasonal firefighters all across the state. Those additional crews are expected to be in place by the first week of June, but with forecasters predicting temperatures flirting with the 90s this weekend, do we have enough firefighters right now to respond to a major incident here at home? CBS 13's Adrian Moore is live now in West Sacramento getting answers. Adrian? Sam and Christina, this is what ha firefighters are so concerned about right now. What was once green and lush is now dead and brown, and it is the perfect fuel for a fire. Now, CAL FIRE tells us that they have already hired some 115 seasonal firefighters, and they say they are prepared for anything Mother Nature throws their way. But this is not a normal season. Spring may have sprung, but the region's vegetation has rung in an ominous fire forecast. Fire seasons here in California and in the West were about 75 days longer than they were just four decades ago. With CAL FIRE looking to hire 3,000 seasonal firefighters across the state, officials know it's crunch time to get the support staff they need in place before fire season goes from bad to worse. We've already been doing interviews with seasonal firefighters. Now we're making those phone calls, telling them to show up on this day at this location and starting their training and getting them ready to staff engines. So far this year, CAL FIRE has responded to more than 650 wildfires. In the same time period last year, crews battled 400, which is a 50% jump. It's an upward trend crews are monitoring this weekend with temperatures expected to reach almost 90 degrees. Are we staffed to respond? adequately. Well, we are absolutely staffed to meet the current need and as conditions dry out further we're going to need more staff and we will continue to bring on those seasonal firefighters. While CAL FIRE has also held on to 70 engines from last fire season to help beef up their response, crews are quick to point out your best defense starts with you. What they can do right now is make sure their home has defensible space, make sure they take steps to prevent a fire. And as we come back out live, CAL FIRE tells us they're also monitoring water levels all across the state just to make sure that they have enough water on hand to be able to put out these fires and make sure that those water dropping helicopters that are so important, Sam and Christina, can do their job. All right, Adrian, thank you very much. Live for us tonight in West Sacramento and firefighters got a quick jump on a fire burning near Georgetown in the El Dorado National Forest. The Quinette fire burned about five acres. It is now 80% contained. Investigators say a down power line may be to blame for that one.